what's up and welcome back to another Kayla's Curls video. Today I'm going to be doing a fall inspired makeup look and if you've been following me and my channel for a while then you know that this summer I did a King Beauty Shop haul and one of their palettes caught my attention. So let me grab the palette and show you guys instead of just bragging on about it. It is the Mega Rainbow Palette by King Beauty and I was really fascinated by the shades right here on the palette like these shades right here. Now these shades right here just scream fall vibes. With the darkness of fall, you know, you gotta come through with the dark colors, the dark shade, the dark brown, nude, orange shades. Her falls are like a maroony, you know, fallsy vibes, you know, like just a beautiful color that you would definitely see someone wearing in the fall. So I already started off by moisturizing with my set of Eldeli facial moisturizer so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply some primer Now you guys already know I love this the professionals hydrating primer Alright, so now that I put on my primer, I'm going to go ahead and start by doing my brows have to be raining and people like doing races outside like come on now it's supposed to be a weekend why is it that every weekend there is a noise outside my window let me just close my window it's just gonna... so for my brows i'm going to be using this anastasia beverly hills and this is just a pomade and this is in the deep brown shade so let's go ahead and do brows And I'm going to take that concealer as well and put that on my lids. That's just going to be a base for my shadow. And I'm just putting some concealer on like any spots that I see. Like this area right here is like a very stubborn area for me to get rid of acne. So... I'm just gonna cover up anything that I need covering before the foundation. All right, so now I'm ready to go into the first eyeshadow color, it's this one right here. And that shade is called Cozy, and I'm gonna put that all over the eyelid. Same thing to the other eye. Okay, so there we go, the shade Cozy on the eyelids. So now using a different brush, I'm gonna go into a different shade. So I'm gonna start with the shade Oasis. And I'm gonna use that shade to blend in the inner crease of the eyelid. You guys will see. Okay. And these shades are really pigmented, might I add. 
these darker shades. So I'm gonna put that in the inner crease area. And I'm just gonna blend it here in this area, like this part of the eye. And we're only gonna keep it in this area of the eye too. So I'm just gonna use this packing brush just to blend a little more here in this area. to go into the next shade which is actually going to be this shade right here and this shade is called flow and that is going to go on the outer outer crease in the outer crease here and I'll do the same thing where I apply it with like this kind of smaller brush and then blend it out with like a fluffier brush so it all you know blends better I'm kind of like slightly blending it with the other shade as well just to Make sure it all looks nice and even. And then I take the fluffy brush and blend. Just blend together and on top eye. So there's the uh, two shades already. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade called um, Glory. And I'm gonna blend that in the crease in both sides. And I'm gonna use this brush. I'll just put that in the crease just to build dimension and to add some shine like that. All right guys, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a makeup wipe and I'm just gonna kind of clean up the edges a little here, just cause we don't need that for the look. All right guys, so I'm actually gonna be using this Nude by Nature concealer and I already just put it here on the back of my hand and I can just scoop it and put it on my crease here. Here's the first cut crease. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the shade that I wanna put there. So I'm gonna be going into the shade right here. And that shade is called Mystic. So here is what the first side is looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this eye. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation. I'm going to be using this Tarte Foundsealer. And I'm going to be using this Fenty Beauty, and this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I'm going to be using a wet beauty blender. I'm pretty much done doing my foundation. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go in with a powder before I continue with the eyes. I'm gonna go in with this finishing powder by Nude by Nature. Before I continue with the eyes, I'm actually gonna use this loose bronzer as well.
All right, so I'm done doing my bronzer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes. So now I'm gonna go into this shade right here, the Oasis shade, and I'm gonna use that on the lower lash line. go ahead and do some mascara I, I'm gonna curl the lashes and I'm just gonna be using this what the fake um, mascara by essence here and then I have this eyelash curler from King Beauty This uh, lash glue that I got from Shein, and this is this their um, She Glam Two in One Eyelashing Set, and this has the transparent colored lash glue, which is this. And then these are the lashes it came with. I did get another one, but I didn't open it, and kind of saving it for another video, which you guys will see soon. But I did use these ones. I'm not going to be wearing these. I'm just going to use the lash glue because it is clear. And I don't want there to be a black liner. So I'm just going to use this clear glue. So let's use it. So I'm just going to be wearing these King Beauty lashes, which is these ones. It's just in this like diamond kind of case. And they're kind of a little bit dramatic. Not too dramatic, just a little bit. That's what they look like. This is the top part, which has the applicator on it. I'm just gonna put that on. All right, so I think I gave it a few seconds. So now let's go ahead and slip on the lash. And very effective, as you can see. Very nice. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you guys thought that was easy. Okay, that's the first lash. So I ended up just going in with this Kiss Lash Glue because the other one was kind of like leaving like little spaces here and I didn't like how it was looking. So I just did that with the black liner because it looks way better. So now let's move on to the blush. So I'm actually going to be using this Duché blush here and it's a darker shade and it's kind of reminds me more of a fall vibe. So I'm going to use this blush here and this is in the color Zen Orange. See, more of a nice bronzy type of fall vibe going on here. Okay, I'm actually going to go on top of that with this perfect glow from Annabelle. That is the face, the everything together. So now let's go ahead and do the lips. This shade right here. So I'm gonna go with a little bit of this shade here called Clean, and this is from the Beauty Glaze collection. So now I'm gonna go in with this darker shade. It's just a little bit darker, just to go over the whole lips. All right, so here is the finished makeup look. Okay, I'm gonna set the whole look off with the setting spray, setting spray by Urban Decay. All 
All right, guys, so this is the finished makeup look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. The co oh. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think about this look. I think my favorite thing is using this Doche uh, Free Matic Blush in the color Zen Orange because this color is just perfect for fall and it's an orangey bronzy type color for blush so i didn't want to go to the rosy side i wanted to keep it neutral and cozy so yeah guys i also really like the lips if you guys know me then you know that i love the darker lippies rather than the mauvey nudish tones this is the fall makeup look for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you are new here, hit that red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell so that you'll be notified every single time that Kayla's Curls uploads here on YouTube. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoy watching this video. So other than that, everything will be linked in the description box. Until the next time, I'll see you guys in another Kayla's Curls video. So peace out.